Today, I'm going to show you how to import R3D footage from your Nikon ZR into Adobe Premiere and adjust some of those raw settings like your ISO, your white balance, and other settings that you can find in Premiere. As far as I know, you can't currently import R3D footage into Premiere Pro, so you'll need to log into Creative Cloud and install Premiere Beta. Once it's installed, we're going to create a project and import your footage. We're going to bring our footage into the timeline and make sure we have our sequence settings set to our preference, and now we can go ahead and start editing this footage. I always unlink my clips so I can edit and move them independently, but it's not necessary for you to do so. Now, to adjust the settings, select your clip, and you'll want to go up to your effect controls and see your clip highlighted in gray. We want to select the Source tab, and all of the raw settings are going to be found here. First is your red source settings. And going down, image pipeline that's already set to IPP2. We also have some denoising here if you need it, as well as decoding. We've got the primary color space and the red wide gamut RGB is already selected. Next is gamma and log 3G10 is already selected for us as well. Now, here's where you can change your ISO by selecting an ISO of your choice. Then we can move down to exposure and adjust it as needed. Next is Kelvin, which is your white balance. Then there's an option for tint and you can adjust that as needed. You can import a LUT here, but I prefer to edit color in the main tree. Then you've got your color decision list, which you can adjust after you enable it. Here you've got your curves, You've got your highlights and your shadows and also your RGB, specific red, green, and blue channels as well. So that's how you edit your raw footage. Now that that's done, I'll start color grading the footage in Lumetri Color. The first thing I do is convert the footage to a Rec. 709 with a conversion LUT. So I'll go under basic correction and apply the LUT. After that, I'll add an adjustment layer on top of the footage to finish grading it. After I create the layer, I'll drag it onto the timeline and make sure it matches the length of the clip. Now you can make any adjustments to exposure, contrast, highlights, etc. Next, I can go down to the Creative dropdown and import a Creative LUT. Typically, I'll only add 10 to 20% of a Creative LUT on top of my footage. After that, you've got your curves and color wheels, so adjust those to your preference. And that's how you import your red footage into Premiere, access all of the red raw settings, and then how to do a basic correction with some LUTs. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.